Okay. Sorry about the background noise. They're listening to Wild Kingdom. So, here's my little plant. Just going to grab it way down and just take it out of the pot. Yeah, you can see there's several crowns here. This one and this one. Maybe another one over there. So, what I'm going to do is just go to the root of it down here. Okay, see this one's going to be a little more complicated because it's actually growing off of the original. Like sometimes they'll grow several in the same pot, um, but this is actually off of the same root. So I'm just going to grab a knife real quick. Okay, so I have a knife here, and I'm just going to find... Okay, I think it's right there that it joins. Turn it. Here, and I'm just going to cut it off. I'm just going to stick my knife in and cut it off. Here it is. There's a whole crown. And let's see, I think there's another one over here. What a mess. Here's another tiny one here. I'm going to cut that one off too. Here's another one. Some are more prone to this. You can see it right there. Great day. This has a whole bunch in there. I'm just going to start breaking, so I don't really want all of this on this poor plant. He doesn't deserve all that. So I'm just at this point just cutting off all the babies. And at this point, about going to be better off to just cut it off the root stock and restart it. So I'm just going to chop here. because it's liable to grow back from where I took all of those off. It's liable to grow back with more. So I'm just going to cut it right here. And there you can see. Um, and then what, often what I do then is scrape scrape it and then it'll grow new roots right there. So I'll replant that guy and I'm also going to replant this one. Take a few leaves off so that it has more above ground. I mean underground. And also scraping the stem will help take care of any little tiny baby plants that are trying to grow on the stem like this one had. So that's what I do. And let me get a um, fresh soil ready here and I can show you how I um, put it in the fresh soil then. Okay, so I have my wick coming up through the center there. I'm just going to hold it with my thumb. And here's my soil. It's African violet soil and then I also mixed perlite in it. I can send you a picture of that. The two brands I, well it's it's the miracle Grow brand so it's pretty easy to find. In there. And I don't want to pack it down, I want to leave it light and fluffy. And then, let me see, take this one and just stick it in the center, just like that. 
and I'll do the same for the other one. And then I'm just going to put this um, in a bag until it gets roots, until I see new growth there in the center. Um, and then I'll know it's ready to come out of the bag once it has new roots. I'll water it lightly then, and that'll press the soil down around it. So that's how you do it.